Mr. Speaker, uh, the, uh, the government will be opposing this motion, uh, but that's not because we want to see buybacks happening. In fact, the Premier, in his answer to the question that the member for Murray asked him uh, on the 1st of August, said that the government does not want and does not support proposals that will have a negative impact on the New South Wales regional communities and economies. He said uh, we do not want buybacks used for water recovery. However, there's a number of issues uh, with this motion which the government is unable to support. And, and um, it's, it needs to be very clear that uh, in trying to work through these issues, New South Wales is looking to proactively put forward proposals to the Australian government uh, by the end of the process that they're going through on alternative options to deliver the 450 gigalitres of water, which would reduce the impact of buybacks. Now, I want to make it very clear that there's a, there's a number of complex moving parts in this basin plan. And uh, it's important that we understand that the Commonwealth, for a number of parts of the plan, already has uh, the agreement in the basin plan uh, to be able to undertake buybacks. The, they can undertake buybacks for the closing the gap component of the plan, uh, for, the, um, for the sections of the plan around uh, sustainable diversion limit adjustment mechanisms, SIDLAM supply and constraint measures, which is 605 gigalitres worth of, um, of sustainable of, of SIDLAM measures. Uh, but what they can't do under the old uh, agreement was use buybacks for the efficiency measures under the sustainable diversion limit adjustment mechanisms. Now that's why at the moment it makes it very difficult to uh, actually just say there should be no buybacks at all because the Commonwealth actually already has that capacity and that has been pointed out in this place. The Commonwealth has the capacity to go and do buybacks uh, without states agreement. Uh, the, the key issue here that then the reason New South Wales does need to negotiate with the Commonwealth is because we do need extra time to undertake a number of the really important initiatives in the Basin Plan. Uh, we need extra time to deliver those SIDLAM measures, both for the upwater and the downwater, as they're known, because they are so far behind. And the reason they're so far behind is because previous federal and state governments uh, simply haven't been serious about uh, getting in and even doing the, some of the basic things like constraints removal, which was uh, one of the fundamental parts of those SIDLAM measures and also, um, also one of, the, uh, one of the, uh, the measures which was meant to be introduced first in the Basin Plan. Um, now, part of the problem with that is that for a long time uh, governments didn't want to address those because there was community opposition to those measures as well. And, uh, and in my previous role as CEO of the National Irrigators Council, I remember going into Helen's area a number of times, and I'm, she was probably there, and, and warning that if we didn't pull the finger out, to be colloquial, and get on with implementing some of those SIDLAM measures, we would eventually see a Commonwealth government coming back wanting to buy that 450. Now, um, I, I think so. I think unfortunately that became uh, one of those inevitable axes that uh, a Commonwealth wants to hold over to satisfy South Australia. And the member for Murray is absolutely right in that, uh, because the 450 gigalitres was something which we understood in New South Wales originally was going to be up to 450, but which apparently South Australian people were told was going to be 450. But we do need time in implementing the Basin Plan now, extra time, to do some of the really important things like addressing those constraints, looking at alternatives to just water recovery for the 450, because as I know a number of members in this place have talked about, there are alternatives. We do need to improve the health of the rivers with fish passage. We need to look at temperatures. We need to look at riparian repair along the riverbanks. Uh, we need to look at how we can deliver the water more effectively to get the Schedule 5 environmental outcomes that the 450 is meant to uh, meet. Now, those are all in South Australia. They won't be able to be delivered at the moment because the constraints in the system don't allow them to be, but possibly they could be delivered through uh, pumping water or other diversions onto those wetlands and things which they're meant to be protecting. We need time and the the flexibility from the Commonwealth to be able to in, uh, include some of those alternative measures for our river system. Because under the existing plan, it essentially meant, it essentially set a date which said, you need to list all your measures you're going to implement and no more will be allowed. Um, you know, you simply can't operate a plan like that when you find that some of them are not as easy to implement as perhaps they originally appeared to be. 
So look, we do need the flexibility from the Commonwealth. We need the additional time. We don't want the buybacks, but because we need to continue to work through with that additional time, uh, the government uh, will not be able to support uh, the member for Murray's motion today.